Why are they in the middle of the street? Oh my gosh. What is he? Oh! Alright y'all, what is good? Welcome back to the Village Hidden in the Streams. It's your boy D Smitty TV here. And we are back for another installment of Life is Strange Part 2. I kind of like that word. I might start saying installment instead of confusing the, the, the episode titles. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up um, Part 3 of Episode 2 as I do it again. Um, so last night I was recording, got a little tired. So I figured I'd finish this up today. So once again, if you're enjoying the series, you know what to do by slapping up that like button. And we can get right back into another episode. Let's go. Okay, yeah. Uh, and as this episode starts up, um, I know that we've been introduced to Captain Spirit. And at the start of the episode, it did tell us there was a DLC for that. So what I'm going to do is by the time this episode drops, I'm going to actually live stream that DLC. So I'll tag the, that in the description or I'll tag a link. So if you miss that live stream, you can go ahead and watch and get a little bit more um, of a background on Captain Spirit before we finish this episode. Um, so yeah, so I'll make sure I do that and... Let's keep it let's keep it rolling here guys. Unfortunately, I wish I would have done it before I started, but you know, we're already here. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey. You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he Chris, could. Chris, okay. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. See, and this is the tough part with these decisions is you, because I, I want him to stop lying to Chris, but what does that mean? You know, like protect the secret. I'm guessing that means him trusting Chris. Now you got to stop lying to him, dude. I know, man, but you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything. But don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Yeah, he might as well just stop cold turkey and let Chris think he was using his imagination. We're not wow. even supposed to be in the so town. Many like trees. Ugh. They look like giant cocoons. Creepy. You coming, Sean? Don't worry. I'll be around. Yeah, we at grandma house. We know what it we if anybody should know what it feels like to be homeless, it's it's Daniel and Sean. I really feel like I shouldn't be talking to people, but find Daniel a Christmas present. Okay. Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Ah. Uh... Who's the Reynolds? We're just passing through, so, uh, at a motel. Well, I saw you speaking with Charles, so I thought... 
Oh, we're not related. My brother Daniel's friends with Chris. Gotcha. I like his son. Funny little guy. Despite everything. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. Despite what? We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Dang, where would I have gotten $30 from? Well, I guess we'll find out in the Captain Spirit DLC, so I'll just, um... The best Christmas wreaths are here. Decorate your front doors with something truly special. Anyone? Hey, um... Can I get one of these... bears? Sure. Our best seller this year. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Because we don't know how long we're going to be at the cool. grandparents' house. Mission so. accomplished. We better leave now before Claire and Steven come back. If we leave, the least they can do, Claire and Steven can do, is throw us a little, you know, a little bit of bread. Can we talk to her or is she hey. just going to sing again? Ha! <laughs> well, finally. Someone who dares speaking with me. Hope you're vaccinated. What? I uh, hope you're vaccinated too. No, and I if mean, you're not, that's your I'm choice. Just, messing just put with your you. mask on. It's nice to chat for a change. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Just think about somebody Nobody else. That's all I'm saying. Gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <sighs> now we are. Kinda. That sounds complicated. Trauma? <sighs> yeah. Lots. Huh. Yeah, I hear that. Way too much. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. I mean, considering the lifestyle Sean might have to live if we can't stay at a grandparent's house. Man, that sounds wicked. You have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <sighs> And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> mm. Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> What do you think? Hmm. I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? Oh, man. Look you at ready? This, dude. Where did this dog come from? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> He's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. Mm. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Yeah, they got it. They definitely got a kidding? little thing, but they kind of do their thing at the same time. Hot shot? Hey, 
No worries. You could tell Come right on, off let's the bail. bat. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. Yo, for real. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Fucking parasites. Why the did real. they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. Because he's insecure, ass, man. Alright, Daniel, you relax, because you really might go over there and catch a body. No, we're not going to prank him, because Daniel's going to go over the top, and it's going to draw way too much Better attention. Better not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. He's just... Like they said, he just need to get laid. He just be his wife make They're him pretty. sleep on the couch every night. That's why he's so high strung. Look at him. Look at him just standing patrolling, bro. You have no authority here. So Go cool. get a security job. How do I let Sean? <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, you're jealous Whoa. Because I'm cute. You're the guy who painted that. He must have been seriously high. All right. Well, we got our tree, so let's um, let's go link up with the. I think their name's the Eckersons. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. And like, we know you that- you having too much fun back there? Yeah. I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up in a second. That's I'll bring what it back I thought. In a second. But um, we know that Daniel and Sean are good kids. They're good people. But they technically are on the run for murder, in a sense. How, like, do you think it, like, there's so many people in the world. Do you ever think, like, you bumped into somebody who, who has killed someone before and you just never knew? Like, I know some of y'all really be in the streets and y'all know, you know, I'm not talking about like that. I'm talking about, like, you're sitting on the bus and the dude next to you has six, seven bodies and gets up and, like, have a great day, man. And you would never know that he's just, you know, that he's Jason Bourne. I'm talking about like that kind of interaction. It's just crazy like how many people we bump into and have no clue what their story is. <sighs> Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding, he dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Listen, they they're kind of cool. The first the first time we met them it was a little but I feel like when we were when we play the game and know their story, they kind of seem the dad seems I know the what his wife died, but these two they kind of seem like they need the Diaz brothers more than we needed them. Um Cassidy Which is cool. Cassidy, cute name. Do you like her? Uh, she's cool. She's cool. We she was cool. Her again. You're too quick. Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it, it was tough on Chris. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. You're... 
doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. He's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. You two seem to get along well. <laughs> I mean, you really look out for him. I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up. Okay, forget it. No worries. Nah, dude, you need someone to talk Didn't to Didn't mean about to make it. you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. But they're always there for us. For Chris, they seem like good people. See, the thing that I like about this conversation right now, little does he know, Sean needs someone to talk to just as much as he does. They both need someone to talk to to move on. Because him losing his wife and having to raise um, Chris is just as difficult to go through as Sean losing his dad and now having to raise, um, raise Daniel. Like, it's all relative, obviously. He still has a house and all that stuff. They're on the run, but it doesn't make it any less difficult. Yeah, my, my mom left my dad a long time ago. She never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. <sighs> Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. No, did you know did. Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh. What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. Mm. I know it's mom's. Please. I know, like, I know I probably said it yesterday that we were going to do it, but they are going to freak out. Oh, maybe we can do it before they get back. You won't give up on that, right? It's just, I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. He deserves Chris has that. tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. Yeah, he deserves. I know Claire and Steven, they have their own. Well, mostly Claire, because Steven seems a little bit more like he can. He, a little bit more persuadable, but Claire seems like she has we'll her find own. Find a way reasons. to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah. I could do that with a hammer, but let's try and find the key instead, all right?
Yes. All right, y'all. Here we go. So just found it. I found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. It's still a lot, Where considering we know the rest nothing of her about stuff. her. It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in the... They looked happy. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Sean does not mess with his mom for abandoning them, bro. Which I don't blame him. She a deadbeat. Man. That pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. I mean, all of okay, these things she was interested in. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. That's crazy, because I know talking about... It's crazy how many different, like, angles this game talk like can connect from because like i know they we talked about we a lot of these in the sean and daniel losing Yawn. his parent his dad but we never really talked about what it's like for a parent to have like a child abandon them hmm. it's like That's she almost never used those now. is there anything meaningful that we're supposed to find in here this is the only other thing Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. Oh, what? shoot. Why did they hide this from us? She's been know. in contact with them? You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well... A cop-out, in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? Does she know? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just... Stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Uh... It's no, we're what not is that all you have to say? Claire, please. We didn't even, I didn't even get to get the line no, off. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. 
There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. Daniel, relax, bro. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed, she just feels guilty. I can't hear that. Dang, Steven. Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? Oh. oh I knew shit. it. Get this I knew that jump was going to fall on him. I said it the last Steven, episode. No. Hold on, honey. We'll get it off. No. Stop. Oh, my legs. Daniel. 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 Bro. As much as, as much as. Listen. We gotta earn. I don't know. I don't know. We're doing it. We're doing Do it. it. Last Daniel. result. This is family, no. bro. Do what? What's going on? Claire, just, just, just relax, bro. Just relax, oh, Claire. Oh, Lord. What, what are you doing, Daniel? Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks he to gonna, Daniel. He gonna need a hip, hip replacement, but... You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire... Yo, don't freak out. Listen, they saved me, Claire. Thank you. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Oh, the fuzz. Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Oh, Go hide in the garage. No. When I called Lila. No. no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. Damn. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs. 
it's all because we called Lila. Shit. Are they in the middle of the street? Oh my gosh. What is he? Oh! He thought because he had powers. What? It's because Daniel made him think he had powers. He tried to save us. That happened so quick, though. I'm surprised they didn't put, like, a decision right there. Well, maybe because we had Daniel... I don't know. I don't know, but... Man. Captain Chris Spirit, you're a real so one, though. You tried to save the boys. I, I appreciate tell you. tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. Dude... I told you to let him know. You never listen. This is kind of Sean's You're fault. This is our me fault. What to do. No, this is our fault. You do whatever you want. He's not wrong. So I thought. Yeah, that's so fun for me. I'm just trying to protect us, okay? I know. Sorry. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. Whoa. It's super cute. Early Christmas is the best. Hey. I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. Haha, <laughs> nice. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on. Oh, on that we learned from Cassie to hop on the train. That's smart. I knew it. I feel like we're going to see them again.
nice okay so yeah that is episode two rules and i do like this theme that i have going of splitting them up into three parts so let's do decisions and we'll wrap this episode up all right yeah so here we are so let's go over some decisions for episode two um these decisions the thing that i do like about them is they are a little bit more subtle than um some of the decisions in other games like detroit and walking dead walking dead like there's like eight of them but there are some that are optional so let's just briefly go through them really quick oh it even shows you your friend stats do i even i don't have any friends if you want to be friends with me please let me know um so you threw a snowball at daniel couldn't resist you let daniel kill the cougar yeah so we were in the minority with that one that was just one of those i didn't know he was gonna kill it i thought he was gonna toss it or something and he turned up prayed together with claire and daniel we needed some prayer at that time confess to steven 50 50 i didn't even know we could opt out of the chores i thought we had to do them told daniel he did the right thing log into your profile call lila so let's see you couldn't talk to lila and lie to her mother and told the truth to her mother mother you didn't use the phone to call lila so most people didn't call her we eventually got caught because we did so let me see how the i'm gonna try and get a good idea of how the story would have progressed if we didn't call her by going through these you didn't gain chris's trust you gained chris's trust and got him to open up about his father so we could have learned more about them i'm guessing if i would have picked the toys correctly i would have learned more stop lying didn't listen to the end you know her her song wasn't better than i i really miss mushroom nothing's ever gonna beat that you didn't draw for chris okay we could have drew while we were there but i decided to skip that bought a present okay so here we go so you had an on it you didn't so maybe we could have asked more questions to get into it but once again we'll do the captain spirit dlc so maybe we'll learn more about them then you let daniel use his power to help steven and he wasn't hurt chose to pull him out together and injured his leg all right and let's see the cop chased you and chris was hit by a car the cop chased you and chris wasn't hit the cop didn't chase you and chris helped you escape so that's interesting thank god chris didn't get hit by the car maybe it's because of some of the choices we made with daniel that he didn't which is awesome and then now we got daniel daniel did not continue to swear daniel lost i cooked him in that dice game cougar cougar buried mushroom i guess that de depends on if we we um killed the cougar or not daniel prayed didn't want to so see how these decisions are a little bit more like passive like these are just things daniel is just doing so that's what i'm saying like the things we do as sean how they influence daniel like him not cleaning his room um like him continuing to lie daniel obeyed like we only had two choices right there and he chose not to do it for his own reason how we would have got him to do the other one i don't even know like daniel didn't have to save chris daniel didn't did daniel use his power to save chris which is good didn't use it overall daniel was encouraged to use his power which is what we did so we told him um last case scenario use it we let him use it with um with steven so i guess that's why he ended up saving him daniel didn't blame anyone daniel enjoyed his christmas presents awesome 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 so that was a great episode um oh teaser for next week for next episode let's see what we got so this is it yeah it looks like a nettle field 
And it stinks. That's that. Yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. That's Come that. On. Um. I'll show you around. Cassidy. Okay, I knew she was going to be back. So it sounds like we're in California with Cassidy. Um, we probably met them on the train. And they working with that ganja burn, ganja burn. <laughs> um so yeah y'all so that's episode two of life is strange part two um definitely more of an emotional episode than a you know intense episode because i know the first episode there was actually a lot of action um it, of course there's emotional in each episode emotion in each but this one was more just uncovering truths about the mom um losing mushroom r.i.p mushroom um, and then figuring out what's going to be the next step in our journey. Uh, so I'm looking forward to episode three. I'm going to start working on that as soon as I can. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, definitely go ahead and slap the like button. Also have your notifications on so you know when we're going live for things like Captain Spirit or other series. Or if you guys just want to come and hang out. Because that's my favorite part about going live. Um, definitely have your notifications on for that. And until then, y'all, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Peace.